Yoga takes you into the present moment, the only place where life exists. Patanjali. Let's use this time to settle in before we begin. comfortable seated position of your choice legs can be crossed or maybe take a half lotus hands can rest on the knees spine is straight sitting nice and tall inhale deeply and exhale inhale And exhale. On your next inhale, take the arms all the way up, palms together, and exhale, hands to heart. Let's take this time to set an intention for this class. It can be anything you like. Maybe it's to be here, to be present in this moment to focus on breath and alignment, whatever feels right for you today. And then inhale the arms up, palms together, exhale, hands to heart. Transitioning into tabletop position, palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, arching the back into cow, looking up, And then exhale into cat, rounding out each vertebrae, pushing out all that air. Inhale, looking up, arching. And exhale, let it all out as you round out each vertebrae. Inhale, looking up, arching, opening up the heart. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, tabletop, right leg crosses to the left side, lengthening the spine and exhale as you look over the left shoulder. Breathing into the right side of the body. And release back to tabletop. Inhale the left leg up, cross it over, lengthen the spine, exhale, looking over the right shoulder, breathing into the other side. On the next inhale, come back into tabletop and then exhale, opening up the knees into child's pose. Arms can be by the sides or stretched out in front. Take this time to reconnect with your breath. On the next inhale, look up, walking the hands over to the right side. Exhale, lower the head, breathing into the left side. And on your next inhale, walking the hands over to the left side. 
exhale, lowering the head and breathing into the right side. Inhale, look up and coming forward. Exhale and lower all the way down. Inhale, coming into a cobra, allowing the front side of the body to gently open up here. Inhale, come into plank and exhale, downward dog. You may want to remain static here or walk it out whatever feels good for you right now. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale the right leg up and exhale, step it forward. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. You may want to hug behind the knees, allowing the back to open here. Breathing and release the arms. Coming all the way up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. You may want to take your feet out a little wider. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, take a side stretch to the right. Inhale the arms up, exhale hands to heart, inhale arms up, exhale side stretch to the left. Inhale the arms up, exhale hands to heart, clasp your hands behind you and open up the chest. And then exhale, falling forward, opening the shoulders. Relaxing the face here. Inhale all the way up, palms together. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands. And stepping back into plank as you inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Walking the hands back slightly, left hand grabs the right ankle. Notice your balance in this position. Be aware of how your body's feeling. And release both hands to the mat. Take the twist to the other side. Right hand grabs the left ankle. Notice if there's any difference between your balance on this side. Notice how your body feels. And release both hands. Inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can straighten or bend the knees your choice. Breathe here and release, bending the knees and inhaling the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Maybe take a moment to notice how the weight is distributed to both sides of your body in this position. And inhale up and exhale forward fold plant the hands inhale into plank 
exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward facing dog inhaling the right leg up exhale bring it forward warrior two inhale the arms up straighten the leg exhale lower to warrior two inhale up and exhale lower inhale up exhale lower cartwheeling the hands down pivot the back foot into extended pyramid hips and shoulders are square gaze is forward or if you'd like you can bring the forehead to the knee and looking up maybe raise your right arm into the sky reaching gazing up at your fingertips and release bending the front leg lowering the back and coming into a lizard toes can be untucked allowing the hips to gently open here maybe push out the right knee looking behind coming into that twist grabbing the back foot and the head can tilt back looking up releasing the back foot maybe coming onto the forearms. Giving your hips some time to just gently ease into this position a bit more. Maybe bringing your forehead to the forearms. And coming up onto the palms tucking the back toes and stepping back inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog breathing here noticing how the body feels inhale right leg up and over into wild thing stretching the arm to the front of the mat opening up the heart and release into three-legged dog and coming into a vinyasa meeting back in downward dog Inhale the left leg up, exhale, step it through into warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, bring the arms up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale up, exhale, warrior two. Inhaling up exhale warrior two cartwheeling the hands down pivot the back foot straightening the leg extended pyramid hips and shoulders are square the gaze can be forward or bringing the forehead to the knee Looking up, reaching the left arm into the sky, gazing toward the fingertips. Keep reaching here. And lower the hands. 
Left knee bends, right leg lowers, toes are untucked, lizard pose. Maybe come into a twist, pushing out the left knee and looking back. Another option is to grab onto the back foot, maybe tilt the head back. Let the hips softly open. Releasing the back foot, bring the palms to the ground. If you'd like to go deeper, come onto the forearms. Depending where you are today, maybe forehead comes to the mat. listening to the body and what it needs today in this moment. If you'd like to bring your forehead to the mat, please do so. Be present with the breath and allow the hips to open. Coming out of this position, Onto the palms, tucking the back toes and stepping back. Plank as you inhale, exhale chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, stepping it over into wild thing. Reaching for the front of the mat opening up the heart coming back into three-legged dog and take a vinyasa meeting back in downward facing dog from here we'll bend the knees hop through, cross the legs, and meet in the vasana. In this pose, we want to look forward, activate the abdominals, pointing the toes, arms are strong, fingers are spread wide, maybe the legs straighten, or keeping the knees bent. Let's hug the knees and slowly roll onto our back, keeping the knees hugged, eyes can close as we wind down our practice. Release the knees and take a spinal twist to one side. Relaxing the face, breathing into the torso. Unwind and twist to the other side. Breathing deeply into the torso, neck and shoulders are relaxed. Unwind. Arms can rest at the sides and legs can lower. Settle into a comfortable position, laying flat on the back. Take up as much space as needed. Allow the forehead, jaw, shoulders and neck to relax. Arms can lay at the sides with the palms open. Torso is moving naturally with the breath. Hips and the glutes are at ease, and the legs and feet fall to the sides. You're in this present moment now. Thoughts can come, and they can go. Just be here, in this awareness.
let's wake up the body with a big stretch overhead, rolling out the ankles and wrists, coming onto our side in the fetal position. When you're ready, come up into a seated position and inhale the arms up, exhale hands to heart. Inhale the arms up and exhale hands to heart, bringing your hands over your heart feeling grateful to be here and now as an expression of existence. Thank you so much. See you next time.